But, you know, I'm going to fucking put a little bit into a cup and she going to take a little fucking... One of those things, you know, you use for putting the juice all over the turkey. <laughs> but instead, she come, I come over and she's like, yeah, no, Alan's waiting in the other room. He wants to watch. <laughs> Say, Jesus Christ, what kind of man wants to watch another man? Why himself? And she said, no, 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 I want you to impregnate me the good old-fashioned way. And, I mean, I tell you... I don't have the longest uh, John Thomas, as you like to call it. And this woman, she was about the size of seven pregnant watermelons. I don't think I'd be able to maneuver <laughs> my way in there anyhow. <laughs> so I thought, you know, maybe just the old cup and the turkey baster shove her up there and squirty squirt. <laughs> but she insisted. So what we ended up doing is, is that uh, because her husband wanted to be an active participant, Jesus I whacked off into that fucking guy's mouth and he fucking squirted it up in it. <laughs> I was fucking disgusted. <laughs> but then when, you know, she went to pay me, she opens her wallet and she pulls out 200 quid. I mean, God damn, boy, you, you can't fucking argue with that kind of money. So anyways, next, I went to her next door neighbour, Anne. And Anne, you know, she was all fine and dandy, you know, a proper lass. But then, you know, again, she doesn't want just a little petri dish and the old turkey baster. She <laughs> wants the John Thomas. So, I say, you know what, it'll gonna cost you extra for the John Thomas there. And she says, how much extra? And I said, well, after the job's done, you know, I want a quick blowy anyway, eh? <laughs> What are you looking at me like that for? 